Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and this is yet another not quite one paragraph review and this time I am looking at the film Equilibrium. Angry Andy, Angry Andy Reviews. Angry Andy. Now, released in 2002, Equilibrium is a sci-fi action movie set in a dystopian future where human emotion has been completely outlawed, as has everything that could stir any form of emotional response. It stars a pre-Batman Begins Christian Bale as John Preston, the top-ranking cleric of the enforcement organisation known as the Gramaton Clerics, who hunt down so-called sense offenders. Preston follows the will of the father, the leader and founder of the colony of Libria following World War III, enacting his will to bring final unity to all. When Preston accidentally breaks a vial of prosium, the formula used to suppress human emotions, he begins to experience small moments of feeling and memory that drive an emotional rebirth, leading him to the awareness of the resistance and a deeper conspiracy at the heart of Father's teachings. Equilibrium is a film born of the response to the Matrix. It is literally littered with ideas and things that the Matrix kind of dealt with and it's one that borrows from other contemporaries as well such as 1984. It's highly stylized and based rigidly in a wealth of lore, notably in relation to the martial art of so-called gun catter, which is the main selling point of the film and was littered through the entire campaign of marketing and basically post-release footage for the film. The majority of the action within the film focuses upon the use of this gun cutter and every major set piece is staged around it to take full advantage of some, you know, pretty excellent choreography. Overly choreographed and overly staged it most certainly is, with random goons tending to be stood in a circle for some strange reason or in two long lines perfectly and coincidentally set up for the carnage. That isn't to say the action isn't enjoyable, however. The action is quite intense and often funny in equal measure, with the film able to enjoy the ridiculousness of itself and avoiding any notions of preachy, foreboding futures of our own world. The emotional aspect of the film is something I have long found to be a source of hilarity, though. Despite the society insisting no one must feel, Everybody in this film is chuffing feeling. Most of the major moments have characters totally acting with emotion, responding to fear, trepidation, regret, anger, jealousy to name but a few. All of the characters, all of the actors in the film respond in some emotional way. It's quite funny. The more you watch the film, the more obvious it is that the kind of sticking point of a society without emotion doesn't quite work. But... It lies along the lines of posing the question about the film itself. Can you ever truly suppress real human emotions? Is emotion the essence of true harmony and evolution? Perhaps those questions go too deep for a film, which ends really quite abruptly when you look at it on reflection. But it's entertaining to think about and attempt to explore nonetheless. Equilibrium is a action movie that, like most, is purely a product of the time. Extremely fun, if not taken too seriously, and featuring a performance that set Bale on a path to stardom and worldwide recognition as eventually becoming Batman. But there you have it. This has been a very quick review and exploration of Equilibrium. Check it out if you haven't seen the film before. It is a load of fun, like I said. It's perfect for a Friday or a Saturday night just a while away, an hour and a half or so, you know, crack one of those beers open and get it watched. That is my recommendation. But yes, a fun, <laughs> if uh, entirely ridiculous film, 
But there you have it. This has been a not quite one paragraph review and I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well for more movie reviews like this and some longer procrastinations that I have, uh, most notably my Utopia review. is still going strong, so do check out that as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.